What's up, Crypto Crew, and welcome back, or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the Matrix, scoping out the crypto ocean, so if you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew, with most people fixated on the price per Casper coin, and the sentiment switching even in the Casper community to some, I personally do not see any reason at the making of this recording, as I hope my Casper mid to long term. As for all the crypto investors, including many proud Bitcoin, Coiners, fudding Casper, calling Cas all sorts of names. Keep in mind, Casper still has all to play for, as this is Casper's first ever bull cycle, even though Casper had its own mini bull run during the last bear market. I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. <laughs> And also keep in mind, Bitcoin just turned 17. Happy birthday, BTC. Yet there are people calling Bitcoin a scam still. Everyone's got an opinion, but that doesn't equal truth. Meanwhile, El Salvador President Najib Bukele reminded the world the whole point of Bitcoin's inception during a recent public event. Someone could ask, well, so if the government can print the limited amounts of money out of thin air, why did they collect taxes? The real problem is that you pay high taxes only to uphold the illusion that you are funding the government, which you are not. The government is funded by money printing, paper backed with paper, a bubble that will inevitably burst. The situation is even worse than it seems, because if most Americans and the rest of the world were to become aware of this farce, confidence in your currency would be lost. The dollar will fall and the Western civilization with it. Prove all things, hold fast, that which is good. Protect your Casper coins, bitcoins, and other crypto investments through self-custody on a cold storage. And in our opinion, the Tangent Wallet is your best option. Get 10% off using code CryptoCrew, and you can get another 50% off on your second Tangent card set. This runs till November 7th, 2025. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance, and may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. The rate cut will be hodl your Casper. Crypto Crew, Casper KII Chairman Paul Fonson tweeted this out the other day. Shout out to Where's Wally for notifying us. Quote, just wait for the moment that the markets will massively adopt assets, digitizing, tokenizing, and certifying, and hence start feeling the limitations of sequential blockchain technologies. That will be the finest moment of CAS. End quote. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. Life works in cycles. The crypto ocean is no different, even though this bull cycle seem to have broken the conventional four years or the pinnacle of the bull market 18 months after the Bitcoin halving. At one point, the top will be in for Bitcoin and other projects will shine. As Paul Fonson mentioned, it will go hand in hand with the realization of every blockchain's mechanical and fundamental shortcomings. Smart money is anticipating what happens after the Bitcoin top as we speak, Crypto Crew. If you were a long-term holder of Bitcoin, you bought it 10 years ago, you get to the $100,000 number, a lot of guys look at that and say, okay, that was my number. Someday, if Bitcoin ever gets to 100,000, I'm going to liquefy Bitcoin and diversify it into other things. And so you, you're, you're seeing a rotation now from those OG whales into what I think are longer term institutional hands. Shout out to Casper Commons who posted this on X. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink who says every currency, ETF, and asset will soon be digitized and tokenized, connected through a single global settlement layer. This is a quote from Larry Fink directly. Quote, we're not talking about it enough. Most countries aren't ready for what's coming. End quote. Larry Fink's statement points directly at the missing piece in today's financial system. A trusted, minimized, worldwide, real-time settlement layer capable of connecting tokenized assets across borders and markets. Many blockchains have tried to fill that role. Ethereum, which introduced token standards, ERC-20 and ERC-721, and smart contracts, which pioneered digital assets. But Ethereum's linear blockchain design, congestion, and high fees prevent it from functioning as a true global settlement layer. Scaling relies on complex roll-ups and L2s, fragmenting liquidity and finality. The best analogy I can use for this is if you think about a single lane highway with a toll booth. Ethereum is a single lane highway and all the cars are transactions on it, but they have to go through the authentication toll booth out in the middle of nowhere. So they all have to drive through the toll booth and it works fine when there's not massive volatility or massive volume. But when we had that occur both, massive volatility and massive volume on Saturday, it got 
stuck. If there were too many cars on the highway, and so the cost of clearing one of those transactions, that's how you tell it's stuck, uh, because you can buy your way to the front of the car line to get through the toll next to the fee. One of those transactions traded for more than $1,000. So imagine if you're buying something for $1.50 and you had to pay 1000 to use Ethereum, that's screwed up. Solana offers high throughput through parallel processing, but trades decentralization and reliability for speed. Network halts, validator centralization, and reliance on vertical scaling limit its credibility for institutional settlement. Avalanche, Cardano, and others attempt interoperability or consensus innovations, yet all remain blockchains, single-chain structures that require sequential block production. These designs face physical and mathematical throughput ceilings that can't sustain a worldwide tokenization volume. No! I refuse. No! No! Caspa's block deck architecture is fundamentally different than the aforementioned blockchains. It replaces the single chain model with a directed acyclical graph or DAG, allowing multiple blocks to be confirmed simultaneously. This removes the bottleneck inherent in sequential block production. A block DAG is not, not just a neat looking structure. It's actually, it's theoretically the absolute best structure you can have for distributed computing and distributed ledger, period. So that means a blockchain is a gimped block DAG, you know, like a stop sign, like an octagon wheel. Imagine if you had car wheels that were octagon shaped. Every other blockchain is an octagon wheel. It's not optimum. It's not the best way you can do it whatsoever. It's more like even a square wheel. It's highly, highly restricted, limited, gimped, limp mode, whatever you want to call it. It's not the best way by a long, long, long shot of doing it. Caspa and the block DAG are the best way, hands down. You can never have a better way. It's the end game. To be a settlement layer for every tokenized asset, a network must achieve throughput for volume on a worldwide level, finality that's near instant and irreversible, decentralization resistant to corporate or political capture, fair distribution ensuring no entity controls issuance or validation, and Caspa already meets one to four in live operation with DAG Knight in VProx closing the loop between speed, scalability, and interoperability. A million dollars invested in Ethereum 10 years ago would be worth $500 million today. So uh, as far as asset class performance, uh, there is nothing even approaching the returns that have come from crypto. Ethereum can't scale linearly to that level. Avalanche can't finalize that fast. Solana can decentralize at that level. Bitcoin can't paralyze that deeply. Caspa is the only proof of work network evolving into a worldwide scalable DAG based settlement protocol, exactly what BlackRock's CEO Larry Fink describes is needed. The blockchain itself, Ethereum, everybody knows that name, and Solana is also popular over the last three years. They're too slow because you're going to be doing 100 million transactions around the world every minute. And that's right. going to get very stuck on those chains. And that happened a couple of weekends ago in Ethereum when all of a sudden it was just a mess when they had a big correction in the in digital markets and the crypto markets. So we've got to build off that. And that's coming soon. But I'm really excited because the Clarity Act will be law probably in the next 90 days, further defining the law towards this vision I'm giving you. What happens when the world wakes up to the deficiencies of blockchain? and the world learns about the areas Bitcoin is severely lacking, specifically unable to fulfill the role as a peer-to-peer -peer digital cash. Major institutions actually dismiss crypto completely. A major bank CEO says that he still doesn't care about Bitcoin, <laughs> even though his customers want to use blockchain. What if those customers are multinationals and big corporations that want to stay ahead of the curve and start feeling the limitations of sequential blockchain technologies and then realize they need something built for the future, such as a block DAG technology? And the vision of 10 blocks per second is that things become 
internet speed crypto, internet speed proof of work. So you keep the same ethos, the same principles of Bitcoin, I mean, a Nakamoto system, proof of work, blocks, transactions, all the things you're familiar with, sequencing the messages differently, sequencing the blocks differently in a way that is guaranteeing eventual agreement, similarly to Nakamoto consensus. And before we go, Crypto Crew, shout out to our partners at Blowfin. I mean, if you are tired of exchanges freezing when the markets nuke, you want stability and a proven track record, which is exactly what Blowfin offers. Even while the October flash crash went down, no lag, no downtime. It's derivative first, so you can hedge your crypto investments with perps and keep fees low while you ladder in and out. Onboarding is fast, no KYC flow for sign up, and access is worldwide. Wide. The security of Blowfin is tight, fire blocks, custody, and proof of reserve. And another plus is that they don't run internal market makers, meaning you are not getting counter traded. Right now, Crypto Crew Blowfin set up an event with up to 600 USDT and bonuses. And watch out for the Halloween event until November 2nd, 2025, where you can have unlimited draw, spin, and win on Blowfin with a chance to win an iPhone 17 and or 0.3. BTC. Check out the link in the description box below. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.